Hi there! Welcome back to Bedtime Book Reviews, the series in which I increasingly just try to put into words exactly what it is about these bedtime books that rubs me the wrong way. I am incredibly nitpicky, so uh, with one exception, everything that is in this series I do recommend, but go ahead and watch them if you enjoy uh, me being a little bit, a, a little bit hyperanalytical of really cute children's books. This month we're looking at God Gave Us You by Lisa Ton Bergen with art by Laura J. Bryant. This is a cute little book about a polar bear um, learning her birth story, basically. Um, we have read this to our daughter since she was little. It was given to her as a shower gift before she had a name. So all of these say <laughs> baby in them. Um, and it's really sweet and cute, and I'm going to read it to you. Um, yeah, so we've, we've been reading it to her since she was little, but now that we're expecting number two, I think it also has a little bit of extra utility because it does feature pregnancy. Um, so let's go ahead and just read it, and then we'll discuss it. So God gave us you. Good night, sweet child, Mama said as she tucked the little cub in. But little cub wasn't quite ready to go to sleep. Mama, where did I come from? She asked. From God, her mother answered. Your papa and I were alone and we wanted a baby. And you got me? Little cub asked, her voice muffled by the covers. Yes, my special child. God gave us you. When we found out you were growing inside me, we were so happy. Even the angels were celebrating for us. Because of me? asked Little Cub. Yes, my darling child, because God gave us you. And then what happened? Little Cub asked. You started getting bigger and bigger and bigger, Mama said, kissing her. And my tummy got bigger and bigger and bigger. That was me inside of you? Little Cub asked in wonder. Yes, my special child, it was you. God gave us you. Your papa talked to you and sang to you. He wanted you to be born knowing his voice. Why? Little Cub asked. Because he was excited. He was going to be a papa because God gave us you. We went to the doctor and heard your heart beat, she said. I cried happy tears then. Why? Little Cub asked. Why was Little Cub's favorite question. Because God had given us you, Mama said. Every night I prayed for you, my special child. I prayed that your bones would be straight and your heart would be strong. But most of all, I prayed that someday you would love God. I love God, little cub said proudly. I know, said Mama. I do too. And then I came, little cub asked. Not yet, Mama answered. We had to wait and wait and wait, she said. It seemed like forever. We got your nursery ready and I made up your crib. I even turned down the crib sheet so I could slip you right under the covers, but still no baby. And then what happened? I felt something different. You wanted out. I did? Little Cub asked. How did you know? God gives Mama Bear special signals. We raced to the hospital. So then I was born? Little Cub asked. Yes, Mama giggled, and my, how you screamed and yelled. As much as we loved holding you for the first time, you missed being in my warm and cozy tummy. Mama lowered her voice. And then we took you home, and it was just us, our family. We just stared and stared, wondering at the miracle of incredible you. Little Cub closed her eyes, said her prayers, and heard Mama whisper, Good night. She felt happy and safe because God had given her, little her, to Mama and Papa, and they wouldn't trade her for the world. Because God gave us you, Mama had said. Because God gave us you. So there you have it. Start with the things that I like. Generally, overall, it's quality, right? It's a cute little book. I really like the art style. I think it's really cute. I, I like all of the different animals that are just kind of like randomly there. They're just like, you know, these penguins and geese that are just like, they want to see what's going on. And it's kind of cute. Um, all of the, you know, Arctic characters. Um, 
and I like the, um, the accessibility to little kids when discussing pregnancy, you know. We wanted a baby and we prayed and God gave us you. How did you know you were going into labor? God gives mama special signals. Don't worry if I start, you know, moaning and screaming when I'm having number two, it's fine. You know, it's like, um, just, it, it, they gloss over the parts that kids don't even care about and just focus on the little things like, oh, I was growing inside you. You were excited to meet me and then I came. Um, so, okay, like when I, when I list all of the nitpicky things, I keep saying this, I'm going to list a lot of nitpicky things and don't think that they accumulate to me not liking the book. Just, there's a lot of things that make me go eh, every time I read it. So for one thing, like, I don't know why, but like, so this is the dedications page and it has art from the book and you can assume that it's like not part of the story because it's on the dedications page. But there's no copyright page. It jumps straight into the story right here and you would expect that to happen later. And then at the end, for whatever reason, instead of having like a picture here, like the rest of the book where it's all art and narration, here it's like just a border with fish. Um, not even particularly Arctic looking fish. It's just like a fish border. So this looks here like it's going to be some sort of like dedication page also, or like a thank you or whatever. The only illustration of this last part of the story where the little cub is falling asleep is this over in the corner over with all of the uh, publisher information and ISBN and, and copyright information. So like the, just the formatting of the book is like why? Just add a couple extra pages was that much more expensive to print an extra page and put everything on its own page. Anyway, um, I'm, just, oh, I'm gonna nitpick everything. Um, so like they, they wanted a child and they prayed and prayed, but also they're like cuddled in a blanket. Now, obviously a child would not notice that being anything weird, but my mind goes there. Um, Okay, I'm, I don't know how I feel about angel polar bears. They're kind of cute, but also they're like, they're there. They're not ethereal. They're like just flying around like they're physical, embodied polar bear angels. And I also don't know how I feel about that. Um, I already said it's kind of cute, all the random animals. Eh. I, I kind of do. Okay, I do like... You've got here, this is the main story, right? Over here is like the framing of the story where it's a bedtime story. And so you see little cub falling asleep in some of these like side pictures. So that's really cute. Um, you go straight from like normal nature stuff. This bear has a scarf on, but everyone else is naked. And then suddenly you have obstetrician polar bear with a pair of scissors in his pocket. Like he's just gonna use these fiskers to cut her umbilical cord if he has to or something. Um, he's wearing a tie and they're just in a hospital. Like, I don't know, it, there's, there's a disconnect there if we're being nitpicky. I feel like the spirituality or Christianness or whatever of this book is kind of slapped on top as an afterthought. Um, this is the, the reason that a lot of people don't like Christian music, right? That like, eh, like if, if the whole point of it existing is to be Christian, but the Christianity feels like it was spread on top without being integrated, like it should be built from the ground up, but it feels like a sort of veneer. I don't know. It's like, it's just kind of shoved in there at the end of like, you've got normal just like biological stuff and then at the end of every single page is the title of the book and it gets annoying when you're reading it out loud it's obviously just me um then at the end it's like it's repeated twice in a row and it stops lo it loses some of its impact when it's repeated so many times to me i don't know I do like the bit where the mama bear is praying in the woods for the baby's bones to be strong and for heart to be straight or whatever. Bones straight, heart strong. There you go. 
Um, I think that that fits in well. Um, I think, I feel like the personality of Little Cub also was just kind of shoved in, shoehorned in, in the later stages of writing without being fully formed. Because it's just kind of like little bits are thrown in here and there, but they kind of pull me out of it. Where she, uh, where that little aside where it's like, why was Little Cub's favorite question? It's like, well, no one asked. Like, we see that she said it two pages in a row. I don't know if a toddler is self-aware enough to know that toddlers ask why a lot, which is the joke, right? That toddlers ask why a lot. Um, I think a toddler might not be like, oh, wow, I relate to that. They just see a little girl asking why and it's normal. So, like, I don't know why they have to pull it out there. And then uh, at the, the end, she's like, and so then I was born and, like, she says nothing else incorrectly the entire book and gets that past participle incorrect. It makes mama bear giggle, which a lot of times almost feels like, like either, either it's unusual for her to say words wrong, in which case she should correct her, or it's normal for her to say the words wrong, in which case, why is she giggling? Because it's normal. I don't know. Like I said, I, I pick lots of nits in these books. But overall, sweet little bedtime story. Um, if you are looking for a book to read to your child when they are expecting a sibling, I don't know if this is necessarily going to cover all of your bases. It might um, be a nice complement to some other books that are more specifically about siblings as opposed to just pregnancy. Um, but this is a nice little thing. It's cute. I really do love the art style. Um, it's very, very sweet. And there's nothing on here about other oh, was it children ages zero to three. I could have told you that. I would have guessed that myself. Uh, there's nothing on here about other books written by this author or illustrated by this illustrator. But I, if I saw any, especially by the illustrator, I think I would check them out as well. Um, if you have read this book and you think that I am completely off base, then please comment below. If you haven't read this book, but you also think that I'm being a little bit too harsh or way too harsh, I know it's true, but comment below anyway. Um, let me know what you think and also let me know what books you would like to see me do in this series. I'm always looking out for more titles. I, I should really pick one next month that I just like and there's nothing I don't like about it and just rant and rave about how great a book it is. Um, maybe, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think about that and pick one that I have less mixed feelings about. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I do one of these every month, so if you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one next month. Um, I also make videos about planners every Thursday and about general family, lifestyle, pregnancy, and parenting topics on Sundays. So I will see you in my next video. I already said that. I'll see you then. Bye.